How to create pivot table in Excel? From your data, click anywhere in the table, go to insert tab, click on pivot table on top or the down arrow, then select from table or range. Then you will get the dialog box pivot table from table or range and here you have option to select the range. So by default, automatically it will be selected the entire range. Otherwise, you have option to select manually also. You have option to choose where you want the pivot table to be placed either in the new worksheet or an existing worksheet if you want an existing worksheet you have to define the location where you want the pivot table if you want in a new worksheet then select this dialog box and click on so now you will get the pivot table field dialog box as well as the pivot table blank area where you can define your pivot table the way you want to present the pivot table for example, I want based on my data, I want the fruit names and my sales. In that case, you have to select the fruit and drag to the row where you want. For example, row I want the fruits, then I want my sales to so select the sales and drag to the value. Sometimes if you select the total, automatically it will come. But I suggest you drag so that you get the better option. If you right click on the sales, you have different options. For example, you want to do some calculations, you can show the value as percentage of grand total. Then it will show the total of percentage how it is. Similarly, instead of instead of making a sum, you can do a count. So now let's go to the one level up. For example, I want to filter the year wise data, then drag this here and on top you will get the year as a filter. So based on that, it will disclose all of my year's data. Then you can select any particular year to get a data for it that period. If you want to select multiple multiple years or multiple options, then select manually and then click OK. So that for particular those years, the data will be reflected. Suppose you don't want the year section here, either you click and drag here. Otherwise, you have another option. Go and untick this year. So select the year and drag to column. So in year wise, you will have all your informations. Click this dialog box, you will get the pivot table fields. You can close this dialog box and when you click you will not get that pivot table options if you want that pivot table again right click and click on show field list and you will get it back this pivot table field you can expand you can move the way you want for example you can expand the pivot table field or you can view in a different way for example i want this format or you want only the fields so you can define only the fields or you want to disclose only 2 by 2 then you will have all your 2 by 2 so by default it will be the first section where you have all the informations and here also you have option to expand a particular DAX or reduce based on your need if you click outside the pivot table you have the normal menus or tabs but when you click on the pivot table you will get the pivot table tool dialog box where I have two sections called pivot table analyze and design so in the design you have option to change your pivot table style how it looks like for example i want to change the different color where i i don't have to modify the color again and again so here you have option to change the pivot table style so now let's let's go back to the normal pivot table section where it will be the by default now here also you have different different options for example i want to select month as well month wise i want to see how many transactions i have then if you don't need the subtotals just click on this subtotal don't show top total and similarly if you want don't want the grand total you can also on and off the grand total similarly if you want to change the layout so in the tabular format it will show the tabular format and you will have a better presentation in layout report you have different different format how you can change the format change the way how it looks then in the blank rows insert blank line after each time if you click here so every time you have a blank row if you have blank line you can remove that blank line by clicking this options so next you have pivot table style options for example you have the row header tick here so you are seeing the row headers if you untick this you will not have your header similarly the column header branded rows if you want to add anything then branded columns 
Now let's go to the pivot table analyze where you have many options. For example, the first options you have pivot table. If you select down, you can rename the pivot table based on your name. For example, I will rename as Gopal. So my pivot table name will be Gopal. So now let's go to the options. What are the additional options you have? The same thing you will get once you right click and click on pivot table options. So here you have the pivot table name and the way you want to print and which data you want to show and which text you want to display there are many options now let's go to the active field sections where you have fruits i can rename the fruits instead of fruits i want the header to be fruits a to z and you can rename as here a to z now let's go to the sum of cells where you have options to show whether it is a sum count average minimum the way we want also you have option to change the formatting as well now let's go to the group if you have multiple groups you can group as well as you can ungroup next you have filter where you can insert a slicer insert timeline for example if you click on insert slicer you have here months rates for example rates i want click on ok so you'll get a insert slicer now let's go to the data if you have changed the source suppose you want to change the data source instead of this table only you want to limit it data then you have option to change or for example the data is not selected properly you have option to choose it again and click on ok and then click on refresh all next you have actions in actions you have to clear all if you clear all your pivot table will be clear also you have option to select and move your pivot table for example you want the pivot table to be moved from one place to another place here you can easily move the pivot table the another alternative way is simply you can Select the entire pivot table, control X, then move it back. So the pivot table will be moved. You can also create a pivot chart from your pivot table. You have also option to recommend pivot tables. For example, you have not selected that. Then also you have to go to pivot table design and click on this recommended tables. And you have different way of presentation of pivot tables where you can select one particular way how you want present. Let's say I want this way. Click on this. So you will get your pivot table ready. Next we have the show options where you have this plus and minus also field headers. For example here in the month you have hyphens here. So if you want to remove that hyphen just click on this plus and minus so your hyphens will be removed. Similarly if you don't want to show the headers if you go to the field headers click on off so your headers will be off. To get it back just click on the same buttons and it will be back. So this is all about the pivot table in Excel. Thanks for watching.